Shake Table Lab by Carly Blum and Josh Goodlow. This is the drawing of our building we did in Sketch. The total height is 36 centimeters. Each floor is 18 centimeters tall, and our building is 19 centimeters wide. We built the sides of the tower first with two straws instead of one. This is to reinforce the building so it doesn't collapse easily. We also attached bolt straws to the sides and bottom of the cardboard to keep it very stable. After that, we built the top floor and then the middle floor. Then we put in the cross braces on the top and bottom floors. This is to make the building strong and distribute weight evenly. Then we made the roof in the shape of a Japanese building. We added the Japanese flag on two sides and the characters from our favorite TV shows on the other. This is our finished building with all of the measurements. The total height ended up being 63.5 centimeters. The roof was 45.5 centimeters. The two floors were 18 centimeters and the total width was 19 centimeters. This is our building being tested by sandbags and shaking. We used cross braces, double-sided corners, and bolt straws to strengthen our building. The strongest part of our building was the upper floor. I found that the second floor cross braces and the center support piece were incredibly durable to all the weight of the sandbags and shaking. The weakest part of our building was the lower corners. We could have strengthened the bottom with tape and strengthened the first floor cross braces to make it more durable to weight. We used tape to hold the straws together, to hold the floor to the straws, and to hold the roof to the straws. We used blue construction paper for the floors and white and red paper for the roof. We also used pencils, color pencils, and ink to draw the characters on the roof. This is our building being tested with eight sandbags. Uh -oh. This is so baller! I've got some support! This is where our tower fails. It has 14 sandbags at this point. This is the XYZ graph. The x-axis shows the side-to-side -side movements, the y-axis shows the forward and backward movements, and the z-axis shows the up and down movements. As you can see, the x-axis shows the most movement in this XYZ graph. Our building supported 14 sandbags. It failed at the center support piece here. To improve our building, we could have added more tape and more center support. I learned that it takes a lot of hard work, determination, and friendship to build an earthquake-proof building. I enjoyed working with my partner, JJ Goody. Drop the mic. Our tower supported 14 sandbags, and it failed at the center upright piece, where it bent very early into the shaking. To strengthen our tower, we could have doubled up the center upright piece to keep it from bending. I learned that each piece is important in the tower, and you have to find the strong and weak parts. I enjoyed building the unique roof, doing the testing, and working with my partner Carl. Drop the mic.